So I'm Andrew Elphinstone. I'm manager of conservation and recovery programs at Taronga. Over the past few years, my biggest focus has been uh, getting this site ready, what we call our sanctuary, which is a 110 hectare site behind our zoo in Dubbo. Out here, we're going to be breeding large numbers of bilby, getting them ready to go off to rewilding sites in national parks around New South Wales and beyond. So bilbies have been considered extinct in New South Wales for about 100 years and unfortunately that's not an uncommon story in Australia when we're talking about small mammals and, and vertebrates. Lots of people think about bilbies as living in these really arid spaces, you know, red dirt out in the desert. Uh, and that's true, they do live there, but their range used to be a lot wider. They actually used to live across nearly 70% of the continent. The reason that's been so constricted is mainly due to predation by feral cats and foxes, which has had a huge impact on a bunch of other small animals as well in Australia. It's a really big issue. But one of the big problems is there simply isn't enough bilbies to go around. So while there's these great sites out there, there's not enough genetically and behaviourally robust bilbies to start new populations in new areas. So that's why Taronga's created this sanctuary. Um, we're very good at genetic population man management and managing animals. And we're going to be breeding large numbers of bilbies in this sanctuary um, to then go out to those national parks. And the reason we're doing it in a sanctuary like this and not in the zoo um, is because out here the bilbies will find their own food, find their own shelter, they'll choose their mates, they'll have all those natural selection pressures acting on them. And what we'll end up with is a population that's really fit to go back out into national parks. So it's taken us about three years nearly to get to today from planning this project, like from having the idea and starting the planning through to building the special fence we've got, which keeps foxes and cats and rabbits out, making sure that we don't have any of those invasive predators in here and, and they're getting those rabbits out, those competitors. I'm doing a whole bunch of baseline surveys so we understand that this area is suitable for bilby. Is there food for them to eat? Is there going to be shelter for them? You know, can they burrow into the soil? Those sorts of things. Um, then we've actually got to assemble this population of bilbies. Like, how do we know that we've got a, our best genetic mix here to start our population so that then the animals we send out in the future are as good as they can be? So there's a lot, uh, literally years of work has gone into getting to this point today. It was sort of at year three in a 10 year program. Over the next few months, what we want to see is one that the bilbies all disperse from their pre-release yard where they've been living for the last couple of months, that they establish burrows and hopefully that we see some breeding within the first few months as well. They're all the really important milestones. We'll be monitoring them every day over that period. Uh, we'll be catching them up from time to time and doing health checks, making sure they're in good condition. Uh, we'll also be doing pouch checks and looking for signs of breeding and that's the really big milestone is that that um, when we know they're, they're breeding, we know they're off to a great start and then uh, we just got to watch that population grow over time. For an ecologist um, to be working in threatened species and, and to be doing something where you know you're going to be you know, increasing the number of that particular species in the wild um, is super important and it's super rewarding and I guess that's, that's why we do it, you know, that's why I get out of bed in the morning. We've had some incredible news here at Taronga Western Plains Zoo with our Greater Bilby Breeding Program with an amazing 19 joeys born since October 2019. This brings our total up to 34 of Greater Bilby in our population which uh, I believe is an incredible effort given the drought conditions that have, we've been faced with here in Western New South Wales and I think is an absolute testament to the hard work that the team have done here at Taronga Western Plains Zoo. So the next steps for this project, we uh, certainly hope to see continued breeding success. Uh, if we can see similar successes to what we've experienced this year, we will be thrilled. Uh, and of course the ultimate goal is the release of these animals back into the wild for 2021.